Hey, I'm Chef Keith Snow. Welcome to another episode of Harvest Eating. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chile verde. And this is going to be a pork green chili. Now this is the pork that I'm using. This is a pork shoulder, or sometimes they call it a Boston butt. This is locally raised. I got this from a local farmer who does pastured pork. So it's a healthy pork, no additives, anything like that. This takes a long time to cook. So what we're gonna be doing is using the pressure cooker to make this nice and tender. Now what makes this a verde or green chili are tomatillos, because these are uh, obviously very green, fresh cilantro, and also uh, poblano peppers. So what we're gonna do is break down all of these vegetables and we're gonna put them in this roasting dish with a little olive oil, salt and pepper. They're gonna go under the broiler for about 25 minutes to get a good char on there. That's gonna add loads of extra flavor in your finished stew. Now these tomatillos need these paper husks removed. It's very simple, it doesn't take any effort at all. Just peel the husks or the papers off and these are not green tomatoes, in case you're wondering. These are a member of the gooseberry family. People get confused about that. So just peel all the husks, papery husks, off of there. They're gonna feel sticky underneath. That's perfectly normal. Don't throw them out. And what you wanna do is save, if you're a gardener, save the husks, because they're perfect for a compost pile. Next, we're gonna take a plain white onion. This is a medium onion, and we are gonna peel it and throw it in with the rest of the vegetables. So now I'm gonna add some fresh garlic, and what we're gonna do is just peel it off and throw it in there, and that's gonna roast as well, and that gives a really wonderful flavor. Lastly, we're gonna add a large poblano pepper. This has the peel on, just gonna to toss this right in. And now what we wanna do is get some olive oil on all these vegetables. That's gonna help it really roast a lot. So we're just gonna take extra virgin olive oil, toss it on there, and then add some salt and pepper to it. So after we get the pepper on there, just take your hands, move these vegetables around. The idea is to get them all uh, coated with the seasoning and the olive oil. So now the whole thing goes under a broiler for about 25 minutes. Now while our vegetables are in the oven, I wanna take this opportunity to talk for a minute about the pressure cooker. I said before, we're gonna make this chili in a pressure cooker. This is the pressure cooker. It's made by a company in New Jersey called Fagor. It's an international company. They make lots of different products, but this is one of their specialty lines, pressure cookers. A lot of you guys are afraid of pressure cookers. There is no reason to be afraid of pressure cookers now because these are well engineered, loaded with safety features. This thing cannot open up when it's under pressure. It's got all kinds of locks on it. It's a very safe device to use and it even has a pressure release valve that they didn't have way back when. So with the design and safety features of this Fagor pressure cooker, as well as the time and money you'll save by using it, it makes it a really smart purchase. Well, the vegetables aren't quite done yet. In the meantime, what I wanna do is open up this pressure cooker here, get it onto a flame and start to sear this pork and get a nice dark coating on that, and then we'll add the vegetables. So what I like to do is put this over a medium high flame. What we're gonna do is just take some olive oil and if you guys like lard, you know I love lard. If you like lard, you could uh, swap out the olive oil and use lard here, that would be perfect. But today we're gonna use a little bit of olive oil and then what we're gonna do is take some of this seasoning mix here. This is, the, uh, this is the grilled chicken seasoning mix, but it works perfect for this pork. So what we're gonna do is just put some of the seasoning right on top, some black pepper, and a little bit of kosher salt, just like that. Press it into the meat, and then we're gonna turn it over, do the same thing on the other side. Press it down, lay it right down into the oil. Okay, you can see that our vegetables have a really nice char on them, that's perfect. These I didn't even turn over, I really only need it on one side. The one thing that we wanna do is pull the stem right off of the poblano 
The rest of everything is just gonna go right in there. I'm not worried about the skin on the pepper. All of that's gonna be uh, blended a little later. So let's take these vegetables and toss them right in with the pork. And as you can see, I added all the juices that came out of that, and that's really important because there's a lot of flavor. Now, we've got a few other ingredients here. This is uh, our fresh cilantro. We're gonna separate this bunch and put a full half of it. Just twist it off. This is gonna go right in. And now we've got two types of beans here. One is uh, garbanzo beans, and these are northern beans. Both of them are canned beans, but we're not gonna add them both now. Just the garbanzos are gonna go in there right now. Okay, now we're gonna take four cups of fresh water and pour that right into the pot. Whenever you're pressure cooking, you need to have liquid in there. You've got to have like 30% of the pot minimum has to be liquid. So at this point, we take our lid. Lock it. And then we're going to turn this on and let it come up to pressure. One thing I want to tell you guys, if you don't have a pressure cooker, it does not matter. You can make this exact dish using just a regular Dutch oven. It's just going to take you longer. But if you don't have one, don't worry. Still make the dish, but it's going to take at least two and a half hours. Okay, it's been about 50 minutes since this thing is, it came up to pressure. There's a little uh, yellow guy here that pops up. That way you know you're at full pressure. You turn down the heat a little bit and let it do its pressure cooking about 50 minutes and that's because we had a fairly good size of uh, pork in there. And then what I did is I turned this valve, let the excess steam come out, and then when the little indicator drops down, then you know it's safe to uh, unlock it. So we unlock it like this, and then, whoo, it looks good. Then we're gonna take, uh, first of all, the pork out, and this you have to do carefully because this stuff is so tender. See that? Take your pork out and just place it right here. And you can see that this stuff is just super fall apart tender. So now let's just set this aside for one minute. What we want to do now is season this mixture up. We are going to take some of the uh, grilled chicken seasoning, put a little pinch of that right in there. And then we're going to take our uh, harvest eating northern Italian seasoning here and this stuff is awesome. We're gonna put in a good maybe quarter teaspoon of that and then salt and pepper and now we take our cilantro. We're gonna take just a little more cilantro, drop that in and what I want to do now is take an immersion blender and what I'm gonna do is break down all the ingredients in there Okay, now that we have it fairly smooth, we take this guy out, just drop that in the sink, and now these beans that we reserved, now we're going to put these in because we didn't want these to be mush, so we dump these beans right in. There's enough residual heat in here to bring those beans right up to temperature, so just stir those beans through, and now what I'm going to do is give the whole thing a taste because if I don't have the right seasoning, obviously it won't taste good. So we'll take a little tasting spoon. And that is perfect, does not need anything. Let's set that aside. And then let's take our pork here. And what we're gonna do with the pork is sort of pull it. We're gonna just break it up into pieces. And this stuff is just so tender and amazing. You can see right here where I did that extra searing in the beginning, it gave me a nice dark caramelization and that equals beautiful flavor. I'm gonna take our serving bowl 
And what I'll do is swirl the pork back in there. Mmm, this is gonna be good. I can guarantee you that myself and my camera crew are gonna get right into that. All right, now let's serve some of this up. We'll take a nice big ladle full, just like that. And then what I like to do is take cheddar cheese, this sharp cheddar cheese, just been grated. Put that right on top, that way that melts in there and gets nice and gooey. Then a little bit of uh, sour cream, full fat, no low fat, full fat sour cream, dollop of that on top. Little roasted tomatillo salsa just around like such. Little bit of fresh cilantro for garnish. And last but not least, some of our corn chips. And these are organic corn chips. Tuck those right in the side. And this is smelling really unbelievable. You guys are gonna love making this dish. So I expect to hear from a lot of you YouTubers on how this one turned out for you. But there it is. There is a gorgeous Chile Verde with pork. Give this a try today. The Harvest Eating Lifestyle with Chef Keith Snow promotes the use of locally grown and raised products, cooked using seasonal methods all throughout the harvest season. Be sure to engage with us everywhere. On your TV via Roku, iPad or iPhone via the Harvest Eating app, on YouTube.com, on Facebook.com, and of course at HarvestEating.com. Thanks for watching.